Hello readers and welcome to Read and Succeed. Today we are here with you with one more new book which is named Horace and Morris but mostly Dolores by James Howie and illustrated by Amy Walworth. So children, as we see through the first page of the book, what do we observe? Now, you can see that there's a cat here, right? And there are three little mice that are standing on the top of a cat. Huh. So it's quite a big deal. Mice standing on a cat. Hmm, that's quite a big deal. So, without any further ado, let us begin with our wonderful story ahead. Horace and Morris, but mostly Dolores. Written by James Howie and Amy Walcott. Horace and Morris, but mostly Dolores, love adventure. So we can see that these three of them, they loved adventurous trips, doing adventure, going to adventurous places, right? Okay. Now, here in this picture, what can we observe? That this girl, her name is Dolores, is holding, uh, I would say she's holding a spoon of cereal and with milk. And the both, Horace and Morris, they're holding a big bowl which is full of cereal and milk. They sail the seven sewers. Now, I guess you know the meaning of sewers. Sewers as ba are basically, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a kind of a canal which has a lot of waste uh, products and everything and has water. So it smells really, really bad. And, you know, you usually find mice in there. So that's why they're saying that they sail the seven sewers, just like the seven seas. So they're trying to relate it here with the seven seas. They climbed the Mount Rust. See, rust is highlighted here because when we talk about rust, now, of course, they cannot climb the Mount Everest because it's so high. And, you know, we can observe from here that it's a blade, not a mountain. Okay? They dared to go where no mouse had gone before. Now we can see that again, there's a cat in here. The cat is jumping, climbing, dancing or what? And these three mice are standing on the top of the cat. That's a big deal. Horace and Morris, but mostly Dolores never said that this is something that we shouldn't do. This is something that we shouldn't do, okay? They said that this is something we've got to do. And so, there was almost nothing they didn't do. Now, this sentence, this, this page, it shows how determined the three mice were. But mostly Dolores, because we're talking about Dolores here. So, Dolores said that this is something we shouldn't, she never said that this is something we shouldn't do. That shows how determined she was to achieve her task, to achieve her potential. Okay, so we can see here that the mice, they're, they're, they're organizing a puppet show, okay? Three of them, these three are holding some puppets up here with strings attached and sticks in their hand. They're, they're, they're doing a puppet show, right? Horace and Morris and Dolores were friends. The greatest of friends, the truest of friends. And now and forever, I'm yours, sort of friends. So they were so close because they're, they're, they're trying of this, giving us the line that I'm yours. So that's quite close. And it's written that one day and then one day. Readers, what do you think would have happened on that one day? Okay. Before I move to the next page, Please write it in the comment box that what do you think would happen on that one day? Horace and Morris had a decision that this is that one day. They didn't want to do anything without Dolores. 
But as Horace pointed out, a boy mouse must do what a boy mouse must do. Bet you can say that three times real fast. Dolores said with a smile. Horace and Morris didn't even try. They didn't even smile. Goodbye, Dolores. So what they did, they abandoned Dolores because they two were boys and Dolores was a girl. So they abandoned Dolores. How could real friends do that? That is so, so disheartening. Let's see what happens. Mega Mice Club, no girls allowed. Okay, first of all, he wrote A-L-O-U-D and then he <laughs> corrected the spelling to A-L-L-O-W-E. So what kind of place doesn't allow girls? Dolores wondered as she watched her friends step through the door of Mega Mice Clubhouse. Now because they, they Horace and Morris, they, both of them abandoned Dolores, so they opened a Mega Mice Club where only boys were allowed. Okay. Yikes! Okay, so we can see that these boy mouses, they're playing, they're shouting, they're yapping, they're fighting with each other, they're enjoying their hearts out. But no girl was allowed. Even though Dolores, she desperately wanted to be there. However, she was a girl, so she wasn't allowed to enter the club. Downhearted Dolores went on her way alone. It wasn't long before. So she went on her way, downhearted, broken heart. She went back home. The Cheese Puffs Club. No boys allowed. Okay, now we can see that Dolores tried to take revenge and she opened the Cheese Puffs Club with no boys allowed in it. Dolores had a decision to make. She really didn't want to do anything without Horace and Morris, but she figured a girl mouse must do, must do what a girl mouse must do. Just as before this, like Horace and Morris, they were told us about that a boy, a boy mouse must do what a boy mouse must do. Okay, let's see what happens. She said this aloud three times real fast to prove that she could. A girl mouse must do what a girl mouse must do. A girl mouse must do what a girl mouse must do. A girl mouse must do what a girl mouse must do. Okay, as she, as she told the two Horace and Morris to speak that a boy mouse must do what a boy mouse must do, so she did it on herself. I'll bet Horace and Morris couldn't do that, she thought, but she wasn't smiling as she stepped through the door of the Cheese Puffs Clubhouse. Okay? This shows that she has opened a new clubhouse and where there are no boys allowed. Okay? Okay, so we can see that there are a lot of girls in here. One is making a kind of a castle and the other they're having they're having cookies with tea and I think this is cheese. Yeah, it's cheese. So I think they're enjoying their hearts out. They're having food that they wanted to have. They're enjoying and talking to each other. They're creating sculptures of I think that's cake or pudding, whatever. Today's project gifts for mother made Mawensta. Okay, so basically that they're, they're making gifts from mothers, okay? Day after day, Dolores went to the cheese puffs. Day after day, Horace and Morris went to Mega Mice. They missed playing with each other, but as they said, a girl mouse must do what a girl mouse must do. This line is very important. It tells that why she was forced not to play with her friends. A boy mouse must do what a boy mouse must do. 
Have a nice day. Horace and Morris and even Dolores were sure their friendship would never be the same. But one day, okay, okay, readers, tell me what would have happened that one day? What do you think would have taken place that one day? Dolores made a different decision. I'm bored, she announced. The other girls stared. Anybody here want to build a fort? How about a roof fort? The other girls booed. Okay, forget the cheese. I am sick of making out of cheese anyway. Let's go exploring. The other girls gasped. Fooey, said Dolores. I quit. If you quit, then I quit too. A small voice from the back of the room. Today's topic for discussion, how to get a fella using mozzarella. Oh my God. So what they're trying to do is that they're going to get a boy using a, a piece of mozzarella. Okay. <laughs> they're using mozzarella to, you know, attract a boy towards them. Outside, Dolores introduced herself. I am Dolores. I am Cloris, said the girl. Now, where can we ha go to have some real fun around here? Dolores thought and thought. I've got it, she, sh she said at last. Who wants to go exploring with girls? Yuck, no way. Okay, now we can see, that's, that's a big step, that these both girls, this is Cloris, and this is Dolores. Both of them go to the mega club, that mega mice club, and their boys were waiting. They were playing and having fun. And when they both came in there, they were, she was asking that, do you want to go exploring? Uh, and then the boys thought that, why should we go with the girls? Why not with the boys? So, you know, they made all kinds of statements with girls. Yuck, no way. So they were quite bored. They didn't want to go with them. Right, they, they disagreed with the idea. I do, me too. Can I come too, please? Now, who are these two? Who are these two people? These are Horace, and this is Horace. And there's one more boy who's sticking up from the back. And I don't know about this one, but you know, when both of them agree, they also agree, even him. The five friends spent the rest of the day exploring. Cloris and Boris and Horace and Morris. Okay, that's kind of a good thing. Cloris and Boris and Horace and Morris. But where's Dolores? Okay. These old friends, they were exploring outside. But mostly, Dolores. So actually, we can see that the name, it came at the back. But mostly, Dolores. The Frisky Whisker Club. Everyone allowed. Wow, that's so beautiful. The Frisky. And the next day, they built a clubhouse of their own. Okay, they have cheese. They have games, everything inside. Okay, everybody's together. They're happy. Okay, and that's how this book ends. Children, when we went through this book, what did you what did you understand from this book? It's such a great book. I would recommend you to read this book once again because it's such an interesting book. It's so cute. It's like, it sparks your creativity and curiosity. So I really recommend you to read it once again and watch the recording. So children, tell me what is your learning from this book and please write that in the comment box. Thank you everybody. Have a nice day ahead. Bye.